uh, RFC 8988 and had this very link in one, on his slides. So I thought I'd uh, show you what the link contains. So URIX is oh, uh, yeah. URIX is the, the uh, Association of European IXs, physics, checks, tickets, many of the nearby IXs are members of URIX. And they also have working groups, and one of these is the, uh, this very working group. So the idea is, what if we would start using these IPv6 uh, next hopes? IPv4 addresses at IXPs. Uh, some of the big IXPs in Europe have had to renumber their subnets uh, because they've run, you know, maybe a thousand IP addresses wasn't enough for the IX number. They had to renumber the two thousand or whatever. And that's always very painful. Uh, in Finland, we have been blessed with not too much growth, so we haven't had to do this yet. But uh, we might be actually happy. So uh, I think that is the biggest promise of this technology. Uh, if <coughs> instead of using IPv4 addresses for peering at the IMS, if we just use IPv6 addresses, uh, we'd never have to remember because the IPv6 platform is so much bigger. Uh, but uh, the problem, of course, is that we don't really know how well this works at the moment. Uh, theory is that it will work just fine, but we need to do testing, make sure we're doing testing. Uh, and one of the things that people are very worried about is what if somebody can figure something wrong uh, and tries to join it in with that state? Uh, how, how do the other implementations react? Will traffic suddenly start getting black holes because of it? Stuff like that. Uh, so, uh, this is what we're doing. Uh, actually, uh, David uh, just today joined the working group as well, <laughs> reluctantly, but that's showing. So, uh, we'll have one more open source team represented, represented there. Uh, the Bird, uh, Maria from the uh, Bird developer is uh, very active there, and then uh, some of the nice students uh, will be into there. Uh, anyway, the next lightning talk.